Welcome back to United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. And I don't know why my co-host is doing that, but I am Robert in the U.S. And we have... And I am and I am a Pixel 9 Pro XL and the greatest phone ever made by Google. All right. I, I don't know why I had to do that, but I love this device. We can talk about that some other time. <laughs> Hey, we had to we have to have something interesting when we start. <laughs> That's we not start. interesting. <laughs> it was. It was. It's, it's not really a talking phone. <laughs> no, it's not. And and quite frankly, as beautiful as it is, it's going right back in the case. I don't so know so why maybe I, I should uh, I, maybe I should say <laughs> I'm Robert from the U.S. and this is Pixel from Toronto, Canada. First name Lionel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Uh, glad you're here. Uh, certainly enjoy. We got uh, some excellent stuff to talk about, some really dumb things to talk about, and some cool things to talk about. Uh, I don't know where do you want to start. You want to start in the tech industry, or should we should we get the the dumb politically charged news stuff, both Canada and the United States, out of the way? Actually, let's get, uh, yeah, let's get the, the let's get the dumb stuff out. Of and here. Let, let me get mine out of the way first. Then um, the <laughs> excuse me see it's already getting me ill so dumb <coughs> sorry uh the uh new democratic party in canada no oh sorry i should really mention incredibly briefly for americans that don't understand how this works of course we have more than two parties and, and so it's not just like two parties and an independent i mean we have however many parties can actually register as parties so generally speaking there's three main parties and a bunch of little ones um the two main parties are conservative and liberal, which would pretty much be the same thing as your Democrat uh, and and uh, Republicans. Um, how, and it's, I don't have to tell you which one's which <laughs> based on saying Democrat and liberal, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, but you know what I meant. Uh, anyways, um, but then there's a new Democratic Party, which is supposed to be... Uh, originally kind of an in-between thing but they are much more left-leaning and when i say much more left-leaning i don't mean in a communistic you know take over everything that you do but more of a uh we want to make sure that the people are taken care of that uh workers rights are you know they believe in unions and 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 that people should be allowed to have guns and so on and so on like it's completely the opposite of what most people think uh they're totally for people but that said they are never going to get voted for because they are more left leaning. However, they have gone higher and higher over the years. So what happens is if there's a minority government, which you can have here, meaning you don't get across a threshold saying that you, basically every law you want to pass, bam, you're, you know, you got nobody to argue. I mean, they can argue, but it's there. You're going to pass whatever you need to pass. When you have a minority government, you need the support of at least one other party. And usually it'd be the third place party, which will offer their support to you in order to get their things in. So it's like basically having a giant whole term long filibuster <laughs> without having to filibuster. <laughs> so uh, what they've done is they had attached themselves to the liberals in an agreement saying we will support you so there won't be a vote of no confidence, which I did bring up in a previous show back in season one early on, uh, a vote of no confidence, meaning they can trigger a new election. Um, however, nobody's happy with the true to government and the liberals right now. And so the NDP has pulled their support early. They were supposed to continue for another year or two or whatever. Uh, they pulled it early. So it's not looking good for liberals. Uh, if they uh, end up you know, doing their new budget thing in the next few months, uh, a vote of no confidence is highly likely. It could trigger an early election. Uh, if they don't, uh, then we're looking at at least a year before another election. So, so th those that are not familiar, um, when would be your early election date? Uh, if they did the no confidence thing, this likely we'd end up with an election date probably in June, I would think, or something along that line. Hmm. Uh, if they don't do the no confidence, then we're looking at election next year, pretty much around the same time you have yours, I think October or November or something like that. Um, now, traditionally, 
a lot Next of the year. time. What, what, our, our elections this year. No, no, hang on, hang on. I'm explaining that. Uh, uh, traditionally, Canadians would do their elections at least a lot of the time every four years. And for a lot of time I was growing up, we had our elections the same year that you guys had yours. Um, but Canada is allowed to go five years on a term. They just often would call it in four because they would find that they would get better support by making some policy changes and calling an election early and then getting reelected. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Uh, with um, uh, When they go five years, it's usually because they know they stand zero chance of being reelected. None. So this is why Trudeau hasn't even mentioned the word election at all uh, in the last year. He sees the writing on the wall, eh? Oh, he knows he's got no chance. He's he's just <laughs> he's done so many horribly. Like I I I don't even know. You know what? I'm saying this out loud. It, maybe the man will see this. I voted. I sorry, I didn't vote for your dad. I was too young. I would have voted for your dad. Or did I? Wait a minute. When was this last election? I might have voted for him. I can remember when his last election was. But the bottom line is I would have voted for your daddy day of the week. I'll never vote for you again. Just saying. Right? Uh, I personally would vote NDP, but I'll probably vote conservative because I want a strong government. Um, if I was in the U.S. right now uh, and it wasn't a certain orange skinned person, I would probably vote Republican, even though I grew up always thinking that I'd be a Democrat if I was an American. But I, I'm older and I have a better understanding of things. So I, <laughs> you know, you start to figure stuff yeah. out when you get older. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, th this th this whole election is just a complete nightmare. And, and, and it's, bit. you know, even Pence, who obviously was Trump's vice president, is not supporting Trump in re-election because he just he understands the man uh -huh. is dangerous. But um, well, he was threatened when he when he said, "I got yeah, I gotta yeah. I gotta obey the law and 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 sign this so that you're no longer president." You know. <laughs> well, that's the only thing that I can say that um, he showed backbone in is that he stood his ground and what he truly yeah, felt was a moral right and a moral obligation for him to not bow and be yeah. bullied into making a really bad decision, but. Here or there, this whole election is is going to be a mess to begin with. Um, you know, in some polls, Kamala Harris is polling good, some yeah. she's not. I, I really think this whole election is going to be up in the air. I honestly do. I don't, I don't know. Who, yeah. I don't think there's really a front runner, but supposedly Trump has agreed to uh, debate Kamala Harris, which in the beginning he said he wasn't going to. But here's the interesting thing I heard the other day, and I didn't really dig into it much. I haven't had time this week. Um, but I did hear on a, I think it was Good Morning America, where Trump has actually backtracked on the ByteDance TikTok ban, meaning what? that there might not be a TikTok ban, but that obviously Biden has put in place that by the end of the year, they've got to be yeah. sold. But if you know, Trump is reelected. Then... Wait, no, wait a minute. Now that does say by the end of the year. So somewhere along the line, someone would, would have to write in, in something that would extend it if Trump won the election, because it, it would be done by the time he was sworn in. You're assuming that it's going to be done. Be done. <laughs> I, it, I, I think, yeah, I think there's, I think there's a lot more to that than what meets the eye. I don't think it's going to be quite that simple of a, of a decision or process. I mean, I could be totally wrong. Obviously I'm yeah. not a political person, but. Um, well, you know, I'm sorry. I, I have to say this. The yeah. thing about TikTok is who really cares? There are other avenues that people can make those stupid little videos uh, 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 without, without issue. There's YouTube shorts, there's the Facebook ones, and they all do would look and act exactly the same way. I, I don't understand why anybody feels it has to be TikTok. Well, I don't think they feel it has to be TikTok. I just feel like the um, American people are like, why are you taking something that we use and we don't want you to get rid of? Like, right? Like, 
I personally, I mean, yeah, I've, I've seen people say, oh, yeah, they're taking, you know, look, I just got an email from Experian that <laughs> my social security number is on the dark web because of this last big public national database breach, right? Right. China doesn't have to be covert to steal our shit. It's out there to take on the dark web. Just go buy it. Listen, so, I, I I understand all that. I mean, I, you know, I, I, there's no argument there. I I don't. I it's like. I first of all, I don't disagree. I don't disagree nor agree with the whole ban thing. I don't think it's it's. It doesn't make any difference because again, like they don't need to do that in order to steal information. And why do they give a damn about Mary Joe's? uh dance tiktoks i mean they're not getting government secrets off of tiktok it it, it makes no sense well uh, it's it's about social engineering is the problem is that they're gathering data and they're socially engineering which they can get from freaking google anyways i understand and not just google facebook and uh, yeah. At any rate, what's I it just called? you know, Tencent. If you if you're playing a video game on your phone, a ninety percent chance you're playing a ten cent game. I mean, come on, if they got your yeah. information, anyways, right? Well, yeah. I mean, that's really the only you know. I, I I'm obviously not going to get yeah you know too you know deep off into politics, but definitely a crazy scenario. Definitely crazy shit going on. Um. I don't know who's going to come out victorious. We'll just have to see. It's it's a it's a it's a nutty place to be right now. To be honest with you, yeah. No, I'm not moving to yeah. Canada though. <laughs> I still think <laughs> I'm perfectly happy in the United States of America. <laughs> That's because you don't know Canada. You haven't. Been oh, there. is that what it is? Okay. Oh yeah. On the other hand, don't don't be. I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the biggest shock in the world. I mean, I, I love I love Canada. I'm Canadian. Canada, everything, but I I wouldn't be opposed to moving to the United States for a decent job opportunity, uh, cheaper taxes. <laughs> well, I mean, moving for a personal reason, like I'm going to better myself, sure. But people that spout off, well, I'm moving to Canada. I'm moving to oh no, that's a know, that's a England. Difference. I'm moving to whatever because you know that's just them. If you if you really feel and, the need that you need to get away from your country because you don't like your country anymore, then you probably should go. Right, right. you know. But don't be surprised if you're not going to be happy the place you go to. Like if somebody says, "I'm getting the hell out of here and I'm going to Canada," don't don't be too shocked when you find out it's almost exactly the same. Right, uh, exactly. except you pay higher taxes now. So. If you're doing it for a personal reason, because you're like, hey, I got a better <sighs> job offer, or I want to just change the scenery, or I want, by all means, yeah. you know, do what you got to do. Yeah, or do absolutely. What like, do, if but... I was going to, like, move to the yeah. south of France or something, because I want to be in that beautiful, you know, scenery right. for retirement, right. or or if I was an artist and I wanted that kind of muse every day when right. I woke up, right? <laughs> and I moved to the U.S. I want it to be for opportunities I'm not going to get here, simply because while Canada has traditionally been just as opportunistic as the United States is why Canada has been able to survive. Right. Um, there's just uh, right now with the situation, the way it is with taxes and, and various other things, it's this, there's places you can go in the U S where it would be no better than Canada and other places where you'd be way better off. Like, I don't think I would do too well in California to be honest with you, but if I moved yeah. to someplace like Oklahoma <laughs> you know, or, 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 or Nashville, <laughs> yeah well i'm sure it's like that there's i'm sure that scenario happens on both sides of the border you know of course oh, of course it does there's places you know. in canada where you get better uh you know do better pay a little less tax and so on and so on but you also probably have a lot less to do every time <laughs> every time it'll probably pop on here in a minute no, but yeah so at any rate so uh, that's uh that's enough of our political mumbo jumbo um i'm sure as we get closer to the u.s election and maybe if you have some additional exciting um early election news coming up in the coming months we'll venture back into that subject but um uh, right now that's really all i have for the u.s election it's going to be a shit show so consequently that's just the way it is uh, gotta get my mouse working. <laughs> gotta get my mouse working. 
But uh, one other thing that I think is um, kind of ironic, and I had asked you before we got on here about this whole uh, Venezuelan gang thing. Apparently something's going on in Utah. Apparently something's going on in Chicago. Oh. Where I guess Venezuelan oh, gangs Chicago are taking too? over. Yeah, but Chicago's not putting up with it. You, you don't you don't just walk into Chicago and start taking over apartment complexes in Chicago. You know. Yeah. Oh, dude, no, you can't do that. Listen, I, I, yeah. one day I'll tell you the story about when me and two white friends went into the projects, not realizing that we were actually going into the projects, and then we got curious about if it was really like what we saw on TV and movies. <laughs> it was. And yeah. it didn't take long before somebody was yelling out about these white guys. What are you doing in our neighborhood? Wouldn't we kill you? And we ran. Yeah. And they Look, were going, oh, you're, you're, but you're half black. You should, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. I said, I said, no, I won't. I'm with two white people. Keep running. <laughs> but keep, these are three people, three 20 year olds or 19 year olds from Winnipeg who drove down to Chicago, you know, just for the hell of it. Uh, and we'd never seen an actual ghetto in our lives until that day. So that was yeah. a different story. So, yeah, I no, remember, I, don't mess with Chicagoans, man. No. I, I was in Detroit one time, and uh, somebody gave me directions. They gave me the wrong directions. I ended up off in an area that I had no business being in. And uh, I called my buddy up. I said, so-and-so gave me the wrong directions. I need you to get me out of here right now. I have no idea where I'm at. He said, which side of you is the sun on? And I said, left. He said, turn left and drive. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay. And I took to the next main road, took a left, and just got, got out of there. I had some looks, man. I had people looking at me like, what are you doing here? I'm like, nothing. I'm just passing through. <laughs> I when I was when I was a young teenager, and my sister as well, our our grandmother. Uh, passed about that time. We drove from Winnipeg to Chicago. We actually had to go to Kalamazoo, Michigan for the funeral. Uh, and, and we got into Chicago and of course my mother's like, we need gas, blah, 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 blah. So she stops and asks one person, oh, there's a gas station on such and such street. She doesn't know direction. She got lost anyways. She finally pulls in. And even at my tender 13 years of age, maybe 14, I think 14 years old, I said, I said, mother, I said, I never been to this city before other than when i was a baby and we lived here um but is it not true we shouldn't be on the south side of chicago and she said we're not on the south side i said mother we're driving south right she said yeah are we in the middle of the city and yeah i said we're on the south side of chicago and there's people doing a drug deal right there in front of the car <laughs> with guns out <laughs> and she's like just pump the gas and go i said <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Chicago's anyway. not like that anymore, by the way. It's a lot better. I've been to Chicago. Chicago's a really fun place to be. Oh, yeah. We've visited there many times, and, and we, we love going to Chicago. <laughs> I'm talking, see, I mean, I'm talking about, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about early 80s. So it was, there, There's always areas you stay out of. I mean, there's areas <laughs> I wouldn't go in Nashville. You know, every city, yeah. every big city has well, that's, its that's areas true, you just too. kind it's of just, stay it's, out it's, of. For some know. cities, it's not as bad as it used to be. Chicago's true, not true. as bad. Those whole projects I talked about, they've been completely torn down in that area. Yeah. And, 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 you know, other projects gone. Well, projects, you know what I mean? Uh, housing stuff gone up. But anyways, let's let's get into some more positive, uh, positive stuff. So the Venezuelan thing, I don't know anything about that. So uh, these are yeah. literally Venezuelan gangs you're talking about. Then. Apparently, my as, again, I have not like, you know, I read news articles. I watch yeah things and but you don't know what's skewed one way or the other what's true not true you hear one story right. and they say oh that's not true that's not happening oh yeah this is happening and i mean who knows all i know is if it's legit uh the venezuelans are gonna have an eye opening in chicago because it's not gonna go as easy as it did in utah <laughs> Let me just say that right now. <laughs> that's, you know, that's yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But uh, it's, you know, this whole world is gone. I, I, can, I can honestly say, too, if they try it in Compton, they're probably not going to last 15 minutes. No. <laughs> Straight up Compton. Uh, there's places yeah. in New York and New Jersey where they wouldn't be able to do it either. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of areas that, like, I'm yeah. sure there's areas in Toronto and yeah, Quebec. Yeah, yeah. Maybe and, not so know, much Toronto, but Quebec, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mess around. The tow truck drivers yeah. in, in Quebec will, will mess them up. 
<laughs> Although they're mob, they're, they're half of them are attached yeah. to the mob or biker gangs or something. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't mess, you don't mess with tow truck drivers because you're messing with, with like the hell's angels and stuff. It's like yeah. they don't do it. <laughs> um, but that said, <laughs> uh, let me let me put up my trusty uh, Pixel Nine Pro XL. Google, you need to give me money, anyways, <laughs> um, so I can get some of my talking points, which I use Gemini to make sure I had everything in order. Uh, the new Nest Learning Thermostat, which they tout as this great thing, the best one they've ever made, and all kinds of wonderful stuff. And I'm sure that, that might be true. I have a gripe with Google, but with every smart thermostat, learning or otherwise. Uh, in the house where I live, the landlord, when he bought this house, deliberately purchased a furnace that has a variable speed fan true variable speed not one two or three settings and what that does is it saves electricity saves energy allows it to ramp up and down as it needs to using less energy and making it far more efficient so it costs less it's more efficient it's better for the environment better for everything nobody will make a thermostat that will use that extra wire that tells it to do that and I don't understand because basically variable speed fans have been able to be controllable with the, the simplest electronics for 50 years. But for some reason, no one can figure out how to do it in a smart thermostat. You can buy non-smart thermostats that do it, but you have to go up and manually do everything. You have to walk downstairs or upstairs or whatever to go do it. And not that that's a big deal, but if you're going to have a smart thermostat, you might as well be able to do that. And you can't go on, but you know, so you, you're on vacation. You want to be able to actually just use your phone and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to, I forgot to turn the air conditioning off. Now I can do that while I, you know, because I don't need it on while I'm gone for a yeah. week. Right. Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't be able to do that because it doesn't operate it properly. So no, no one with, with a variable speed uh, can use it. Google, for crying out loud, you're the most noticeable one, not the biggest maker of thermostats. Obviously, that belongs to probably Honeywell or something. Uh, but d d set an example. It, put that little switch and that extra wire in there so you can do it. That's it. It's not hard. That's that's a rant. I should do a rant every week. You know that at the end of the <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I don't. I mean, I, don't, I'm, I personally have never used a. I mean. Yes, I always have you know one two three speed you know stuff, but yeah. never a truly variable. So I, I've never had to run into that. Um, right, I right. do know that even oh. like in the house that I have, there's um, the way the split system works. There's one thermostat, like you know how they came out with that like eco one, the little I don't know. It was like all white, less expensive. Oh, than yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I can't use it downstairs because the downstairs unit requires a learning thermostat. I can use it up here because this is just a regular heat pump up here. Downstairs is the gas, heat, electric, you know, air conditioning and, you know, right, right. complicated, I guess. But, yeah, I've never had anything that's had true variable speed uh, fans. So I, I don't know. Maybe no. this is not that maybe it's just not that common. Uh, well, which the, is the why they don't put money into it. You, I don't know. When you have a, um, a three-speed or a two-speed fan, uh, it uses uh, the extra wire that just basically tells it whether it wants to put in X amount of volts versus X amount of volts. Right. With a variable-speed fan, it uses a different wire, but it's exactly the same setup. That extra wire will deliberately tell it, uh, giving it the information you need to ramp up the volts between this voltage and that voltage it will then actually go to that variable voltage area and, and i mean this is not uncommon this is the same thing as me saying hey google make lights 24 percent it didn't even work <laughs> it never lit hey google make lights 24 percent there you go hey google make lights 85 percent Okay, so that's the same idea, though. It's just an algorithm uh, for this, but it would be doing the same thing. It's all it's doing is telling it what voltage it wants it to do, and then right. it can ramp it to exactly what it wants. Right. Uh, and it makes no sense that they can't make the thermostat do that. You wouldn't. They, you wouldn't yeah. think so. 
Well, no, because it's just the same internals. The board itself that operates the th the, the furnace is no different than any other uh, a thermostat. The difference is when they put the chip in it that interacts with everything else, the Wi-Fi, the hardwiring, whatever it is, uh, Bluetooth, if some of them do that for whatever reason, uh, and, of course, the actual display. But everything below that is exactly the same. Yeah. So there's yeah, no it, reason that they can't do it. There's a lot of things like that that are, like, <laughs> questionable. Like, why would they not? Or sometimes, why yeah. do they? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Like, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know? You know, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But I don't I've never actually like I said, I've never seen one, never knew anybody that had one. So I guess it's probably just not that common. So maybe they just don't want to, you know, put the time and money into changing it, you know. Who knows? Is it uh, real common is it real common in the Canada? Uh what, the charging speeds? No, no, no. I mean, learning charging speeds. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was reading something. Uh, the the um, you talking the about variable, the variable the variable thermostat in some places fan. more than others, but a lot of people don't bother buying them because it's too difficult to figure out what thermostat you can use with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Because again, you still and even though they're way more common with a, with a with a non smart thermostat, you still have to look for one that can do it. So it's yeah. one out of ten just looking for regular thermostats. Zero out of whatever. For smart so that's probably why it's just not enough market for it well, there would be though the furnaces itself that self exists there's thousands and thousands of them i mean there's probably probably 20 percent of the people on this block have one you know i mean that's not a big enough number there's less people with the pixel phone but yet other third-party companies make cases for it <laughs> it's so not even the same <laughs> of course not even not, the same of course it's not the same but you get what i'm saying but let's segue. Let's segue off. That was a, that was a good rant, you know. And you know what? That comment below. Do you have a uh, uh, a uh? Do you have an uh? <laughs> do you do you have a uh, variable speed thermostat? Uh, not thermostat. No. Sorry, furnace. <laughs> uh, not you specifically. You already said you didn't. Uh, but it, comment below if you have one. And if you do, would you like to see a smart thermostat? Not just nest anybody. That does. And if you have come across one and for some reason it's just impossible for me to find it, please leave a comment and tell me. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, let's uh, segue off to another interesting one. Uh, I'm going to call this one. Uh, I'm calling this uh, the death of NVIDIA Shield. I'll let that marinate there for a while. <laughs> Is it truly dead? Not yet. Not yet. And it probably won't die technically. But uh, it, it, that's, that's, that would make a great tagline. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, the thing is, is that when the NVIDIA Shield came out, it blew everything else out of the water. It is powerful, what it could do. It worked great. I mean, it's basically Google TV without being Google TV. It was Android TV. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they updated it, and it pretty much became pretty close to being Google TV. Uh, with a little few annoyances, but the problem is, is that their older hardware, it's several years old. And there were different things that were updated within Android that even though they've managed to update it all the way to 13, I think, at this point now, um, it's lacking. Like, for instance, you've never been able to watch HDR videos on YouTube on an NVIDIA Shield. Because the way YouTube does it, you need the VP9, I think it's VP9 codec, is um, and it, it, that's not capable of doing it because it's a hardware limitation. And there's a few other things about it. Their their RAM is a little bit lacking. It was great for a while, but it's yeah. mainly because it's the slowest RAM that I've used in the last five years. It was never fast RAM. They just had, originally they had more than everyone else. Now everyone else has as much or more, but faster. So to put this into perspective, the uh, I went back to the. Um, uh, Help me out here. The Google thing, the dongle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the other Google TV is what that, it is. Yeah, Google TV thing. The Chromecast with Google TV. That's Chromecast. why I remember. Okay, yeah. The name is too damn long to remember. Uh, yeah. Chromecast with Google TV, which thankfully they'll be changing that name uh, with the new one, which won't be a dongle. Uh, I went back to that one. And despite the fact that it's obviously a slower processor, doesn't have a lot of memory, blah, 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 it works better. 
it's smoother, it's nicer. The NVIDIA Shield slowed down uh, over time, and I find this better. Plus, I can watch HDR on it. But I also knew I was only going to have to use it temporarily because sometime it's this month, I think, at some point, uh, the new one is available, uh, whatever they call it. Uh, they don't call it Chromecast. But you can pre-order it now. I, mean, it's, yeah. I think it's Google TV Streamer, I think it's called. Um, and, of course, it's a little one that sits on, on the desk, uh, much the same as uh, probably close to the same size as the NVIDIA Shield, which I can't pick up. It's kind of stuck, but you can sort of see it right here. Um so it's about the same size, I think. It might be smaller. It looks close. I mean, the size. I mean, it's shaped yeah. a little different, but the size but does look. The thing great, is, of course, so. it does have the fully functional USB C uh, um, on the back of it, yeah. and that basically means that it's. It, and it did. They did confirm that it can be used as audio as well. So that means, much like I use these to watch the Nvidia Shield, and then and then the other one, which I do with the uh, the. Chromecast with Google TV. Uh, again, I plug the USB C audio into that, you know, uh, into my DAC for the, for these headphones, and it works great. You get perfect sound. You get the three sixty sound wherever it's available. If it says Dolby Surround or, or yeah. whatever that's called, uh, any of the three sixty audio brands, uh, then you get all of that around. And the same thing with gaming. So it works great. So when that thing is on the market, if this one is already working at least as good, if not better than the NVIDIA Shield, when the NVIDIA Shield was originally better, brand new, this one's going to blow the NVIDIA Shield out of the water. NVIDIA needs to make a new one and make it way better than what Google's doing, even if they charge twice as much money. Yeah, so well, it's, it's no, 100%. And it's ironic that we bring this up because I was going to kind of mention something about this anyways. Okay. Um, is I my NVIDIA Shield almost saw a very violent death a few days ago. Yeah, yeah. I went through that a few weeks ago, so. <laughs> because, um, so multiple things. First off, so here's a scenario. I bought a movie that I wanted to watch. I was downstairs. I was working on my laptop. I thought, I'm going to watch a movie while I'm working on my laptop. I buy the movie from Google TV movies. It's not Google movies anymore, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking on about. On the NVIDIA Shield. Yep. It bought, it started playing. I'm like, I don't, I can't hear it. Oh, so I'm no. Trying, I'm trying to turn the volume up. There's no volume. So I'm like, huh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, you know, do the battery thing. Nothing. Reboot the NVIDIA shield. Nothing. Right. I ended up having to unplug it. Wait a minute and plug it back up. Well, when yep. I plugged it back up and went back to my movie, it said I needed to buy it again. I'm like, wait a minute. No, because I was already watching it, but I couldn't hear it. So I had to stop it. Did you check on your phone? It was there on my phone. Wow. So it, it bought it and, and I could watch it on my phone. So what I ended up having to do was start playing it on my phone. Yeah. And then cast it to my NVIDIA Shield. Oh, but after that, you should have been able to go back and play it on the NVIDIA Shield after restarting the Shield again. Negative Ghost Rider. I, you know what? It worked for me because I went through the exact same thing. That's why I knew what you and, were talking about. And I about. literally but almost still, snatched it. It's still it an annoyance. Desk. It's still an annoyance. It. But I almost yeah. smashed it. I was it almost, surprised it you almost because, died. Yeah. I, well, I, because I, look, I, I, I'm going to be gone in a couple of weeks. Everybody knows I'm going to Germany. Um, I just, you know, I'm not I'm at all jealous about buying, that. Anymore, anyway. I am going to be buying the new Google device. And at that point, that's going to go maybe in the kids room or something where it doesn't really matter if it works right or not. But until I'm ready to actually do that, I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna fool with it. So, cause I don't watch TV downstairs all that often, but yeah. when I do, I want it to work. Like it's super simple. Like, you know, I want to power it on. I want to be able to use the volume buttons and watch a damn movie. I just, yeah. I just, I just saw a meme. Uh, of that, uh, oh, that I can't remember what 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 the, what it's for because I've seen a more meme than I have in the original commercial. The old guy says, "I don't very often drink this or whatever, but when I do, and say I don't very often watch TV, but when I do, I'd like to do it without wanting to kill the TV." 
Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it almost saw a swift death, but I'm yeah. just like, whatever. Yeah. I, and that's the thing. And, and they're still selling this as a brand new device that's back I, from 2019. With, I know. And I don't even understand that. It's Here's the thing. Um, mine is still plugged in and it's still sitting there. And I can simply switch just the plug for these things back into it. If needed as an emergency for some reason, I don't want to use it ever again. I'm so pissed off with it. I was upset with it before. That's why I plugged the other one back in thinking, I I, I got to watch this. I mean, I I know it's not as well. But, and the other thing is, is Google TV kept making all of these great strides forward with a freaking three-year-old dongle. Yeah, And I'm like, Give me the three-year-old dongle. It's going to work better. I I didn't think it was. I thought it was going to be slow and cumbersome, but I would still be able to watch everything in HDR, everything. Not only that, it supports every single codec that's available through any Google service right now. That's the old one. The new one's going to support even more. So that means I can watch HDR and HDR10+. plus. I can't watch HDR10+, plus on the NVIDIA Shield. Yeah, it does Dolby Vision, but I don't have a Dolby Vision TV. I have yeah. a TV that can do HDR 10 plus. So when I did see something that was HDR, it was basic HDR. Now, if you're a bit of an uh, uh, of a HDR nut like I am, you notice <laughs> the difference. I don't care if it's HDR 10 plus or Dolby Vision. There is a difference when you see them, but they're both brilliant. Uh, so if I can't get that, I want HLG. And the only way to get HLG is if you shoot it yourself right so if i want to watch a movie now it used to be there wasn't very much available in hdr 10 plus but if you go look up some of these things like especially on prime video a lot of them are available in hdr 10 plus as well as dolby vision now it's becoming more popular samsung stuck with it and now people are getting into it even though hdr yeah. 10 plus other than phones is still usually only in tvs that was until last year because now uh what do you call it um TLC in the last two iterations of their better TVs have not only supported Adobe Vision, but also HDR10+. Plus. So no matter what you plug into it, you're going to get your best quality HDR. And they're the yeah. only TVs, by the way, that are popular, that is, that do both. Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a big failure, NVIDIA. You need to get your shit together because uh, mm-hmm. you're now getting passed by... Uh, by Google the cheap all people, <laughs> yeah. By the so. cheap. I mean, don't get me wrong. Google and <laughs> Google invented Google TV, right? Uh, but that's but that's not the point. No. Uh, the whole point of Nvidia Shield was to give people a more powerful option that would do more. And now Google's basically said we're going to get to let you have all of that, and we're just going to put a tiny little USB C on the back, and, and then all you have to do is plug I, in I one of those. Imagine uh, what it'd be like trying to play the. Um, rtx games like we used to play uh i i bet you it's just garbage i i honestly wonder about that because you know like they they came up with the the, uh they upgraded to the 4096 about two months after both of us stopped using uh the service uh and i always wondered what would it be like i would i would have liked to have tried it 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 was the, the premise for the service is still great i still i still see why people would like it and there are times where I do kind of wish that I still had it so I could use it for certain things that I cannot do on there. But but keep in mind that a lot of games on Steam still aren't on there. So it's yeah, it, it wouldn't really help me. I think what I need is a more powerful PC so I can actually check out those games I can't get on my PS5. Yeah. 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 But, 100%. So anyways, I agree 100%. Yeah. Uh, Nvidia needs to fix it, and probably within the next thirty days, I'll be buying the new Google Streamer. So, yeah, hit check out my tech channel for that review when it comes up. I'm looking forward to seeing I'll that. Link that in the description. And, and I'm not gonna lie to you; I'll probably put one up too. <laughs> yeah, and look what I got. Ah, oh, good segue. The new Moto Tag, but you haven't been able to check it yet, have you? No, I haven't unboxed it. I was gonna, I was gonna do a little unboxing. Um, okay, That's maybe cool. not this weekend. Probably next weekend, just before I leave. Uh, but now I'll be able to take it because this is ultra wideband, the only ultra wideband Google Find My device that's currently available. What is the cost of that one? 
in America. Same as the other, twenty nine dollars. So so seven hundred and fifty Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it so, would uh, it'd probably be about forty five dollars Canadian or forty dollars Canadian. Yeah, it's the same as the others. So the cost is the <laughs> same. Um, and you know, here's the funny thing on this device. They say, oh, it's got this fantastic button that you know does all this cool stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, button? wait a minute, Samsung has a button. Now yeah. it's not as programmable as this is. Like this here, you could actually program the button to be a remote for taking a picture with your phone which that's pretty cool that's I common like that's that. common for motorola things you remember some of the motorola yeah. mid-range phones from a couple of years back yeah uh, they were very common and they would they would have it do things that other phones couldn't do yeah, uh, as yeah. A i just i read somebody's um article about it where they's like they were like this button is is like game changer i'm like no it's not a game changer i mean the samsung yeah. button does everything except the picture taking like they're like you can like track your you know hit the button and it'll tell you where your phone's at. Well, yeah, I can do that with my yeah yeah. Too. Saying it's a game changer <laughs> is like saying that it was a game changer when Apple decided to tell everybody you could use a stylus with the iPad. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what a um, stylus? I am looking forward to testing it. I'll be taking yeah. um, this and my new ones, obviously that I have the Smart Tag Two. Uh, galaxy and then of course i have the pebble b which has proved to be garbage and, and, <laughs> yes. and the everyone original, says that too yeah and and ironically the original samsung smart tag is better than the brand new pebble b if that tells you anything and that original that's smart tag surprising. has been out for years that that's not surprising it's still part of a yeah. network that's much larger so of course it's going to work better and obviously any newer ones are going to work even better yeah, um, so it's going to be I'll a be long time before anything not Samsung is going to work as good as Samsung. Yeah, yeah, that's just a fact. So, but yeah, check but out I, the tech yeah. channel. I'll link it in the description because I'll have this unboxing. I'll have my test when I come back from Germany, and of course, probably after I get back from Germany, I'll be buying the new Google Streamer. Unless they change the name before then, I'll call it something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so a couple of cool things coming up. I so. think it's called Google TV Stream Streamer or Stream Box Streamer. Or something like that. It's it's Streamer, um, I think. Yeah. Just just for the record, uh, we're probably both going to have uh, 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 unboxings and 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 reviews about that. Uh, maybe we'll even actually do a little joint one after we've done our initial one to compare notes on what we think yeah that'll be that'll be cool however i will yeah. say that will probably come later because it's very likely hills will be out before mine because by the time he gets back i might actually have the video up i should have had up two days ago i'm just saying <laughs> i was gonna ask you I'm about gonna, that i'm, I'm, like, I'm working seen... on it i things things got a little hectic uh it, it got a little bit bad <laughs> but um i'm gonna i'm gonna be i'm gonna be uh taking care of that and uh so i'm hoping to get it out tomorrow certainly if not that by the next day uh thankfully it's not time sensitive i just would like to get it out there while people still know the other videos there <laughs> get a little yeah. momentum on that yeah, uh, i mean yeah, that that, that which uh, lionel mcclintock edits is his youtube channel uh, i'll link it as well but that one video already has like 35 40 views on it so it's not yeah, I'm not for, I'm, for the first I'm, one I'm on a brand new channel. Is not I'm, not, bad. I'm not disappointed with those numbers, no. to be honest with you. I expected to see 15 in total after a month or something. So I'm really happy with it. So if anybody who's watching this, if you saw if you came from here to see that or whatever, uh, you, if you've seen, if you watch it, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I, I do have to be I honest about one thing. I do have to be honest. Yeah, I you did create I, I did create 25 new Google accounts. Oh, stop. <laughs> Well, I created over a hundred to watch your channel. <laughs> oh, is that okay? Thank you, thank you. Uh, no, but seriously, Google were joking. Don't, you know, <laughs> you're kidding. Um, uh, yeah. That's all right, I, I got one more talking point here uh, on my end. Um, the, the Pixel Nine charging speeds. This is this is a hot button topic, actually. Everyone's uh, blathering on, oh, well, you have to get the Google 45-watt charger. And I kept saying to people, why would you have to get it? And, and now they've got, and somebody wrote an article earlier today. Uh, well, probably wrote it before that, but I saw it today. Um, where he talked about, he he's a tech reviewer and everything. And so he's got like drawers full of chargers. 
And, you know, that's what, you know, most reviewers are going to do. You're going to test them all. Well, first of all, you're wasting your time. Why do you test anything that doesn't say PPS on it? Second of all, read the damn things. It says right on the damn thing uh, what charging speeds you need to hit 37 watts, which is what the Pixel goes to. They have a 45-watt charger, but it charges at a max speed of 37 watts. Google has been very vocal about that. They didn't hide that information. So... Mm-hmm. um to hit 37 watts, you simply need to do a little bit of math. Well, it just so happens. Actually, I'm going to have to lean down for a second. And I should have thought of this ahead of time. Uh, but of course, it's really stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This. Let's see if I can get that up there. Anybody recognize? Oh, good God. It's not focusing. Anybody recognize that symbol? Looks familiar. Can't it's put the Spigen. name on it though. It's Spigen. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a Spigen 45 watt charger. Uh, it is PD and PPS. And these are the important factors that have to have. However, in order to charge to get that 37 watts, because of the way Google charges, you need to actually be able to charge it uh, between certain areas because it goes by its voltage. This one being a PPS charger. And a GAN charger, which is why it's so small, by the way, doesn't get hot, works much more efficiently than Google's. Google's is not a, a GAN or GAN. Um, uh, anyways, uh, you need uh, 20 watts, uh, 20 watts, 20 volts. Uh, God, I need my glasses on. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it wrong, and this is embarrassing, uh, probably because I'm still tired. It's a 20 volts, 2.25 amp uh, will give you 45 watts. And then there are other variations of it beneath that that will allow you to hit that 37 watt maximum. But if you have that, it will max out at 37 watts. So I don't have the tester, but the way I did test it was Google's claim at 37 watts on their 45 watt charger was zero to 70 in 30 minutes. I had... Uh, oh, good God, I forgot the amount I had. Uh, 31%, 31% battery. Now, keep in mind, once you hit about 60%, it starts to slow a little. Hit 70, it slows a little more. Hit 80, it slows a, uh, considerably more. Hit 90, it slows to a crawl. It's still faster on this at a crawl than it is on other chargers, on other devices sometimes, depending on what yeah. you're using. But that said, here it is. I plugged it in at 31%. And 30 minutes later, it was at 90%. So if you do the math, considering the slowdowns at the end, it's the same as charging from 0 to 70 in 30 minutes. 37 watts charging on this. When I bought it, it cost less. I bought this two, two, three years ago. And people, some people said to me, well, you're not going to need that. You're never going to need that 45 watts. It's only got one plug on it, not two. I said, yeah, I'm future-proofing. And then yeah. they announced the Pixel 9 and said it's going to be a 45 watt charger you have to buy separately. And it's going to, you know, and they said PPS. And then I found out the information that I needed 20, 20 watts. I said theirs was 20, 21 by 2, 2 something. Um, but uh, this one does 20, 20, 20 volts, 2.25 amp. Yeah. And that gives you the 45 watts. So it works and it works exactly the same as a pixel charger guess what this costs versus a pixel charger same thing uh, probably guess how, guess how fast you can get this from amazon uh, same tomorrow day or tomorrow. same day or same yeah. day if it's early enough yeah depending and on where you are probably uh, a fourth of the price well, and depending on when you order it where you order it, where you are when you order it you might get a five or ten percent uh discount or a five dollar discount you know one of those yeah. you know put the check mark for the coupon things Right. So this will cost you worst case scenario, the same as the one as a charger from Google. And instead of having to wait a week to get it and pay extra shipping in, in, because it's not over a hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah. you get this, you get this for basically less money, free shipping. Uh, yeah. it, and maybe same day. If you're a prime user, if you're not a prime user, you'll get it within two days Yeah, without paying extra, by the way. So it's, I'm just saying. 
Exactly. And you know what? We'll link that in the description. So that way, if you want to go check it out, I'll, I'll put an Amazon link. I believe there's a newer it version. It's even better. It's actually a 65 yeah. watt one that they have now that, that, that does the same. It's only about $5 more than the Google charger. But we'll find a couple of them and we'll we'll put some links in there and so you'll enjoy it. Um, but that's my advice to you. Speaking is not the only one, but it is the best company that I would trust for making these chargers. Well, I can say for... In addition to that, I've mm -hmm. used a lot of Anchor products. Oh, Anchor too. Are Anchor too, but I can't guarantee phenomenal. you at this point. I haven't been able to take a look at what Anchor does with their PPS chargers. So I no. don't know if they'll work with the Pixel 9 series yet. Uh, so I can't guarantee that. However, if you're not talking about a Pixel 9 series and you don't care, it's just for whatever other device, Anchor is an excellent bet and is often less expensive than speaking depending on yeah what i know that it charges my s23 like a rocket ship yeah yeah and it, it does it does it differently though it uses it actually uses a wattage when it requests the power google pixel requests yeah, the voltage know. that's why you have to have a specific type i don't get it all those details i just want to yeah. plug it in and charge and it works <laughs> yeah no and that's what's nice want, because my laptop but... is usb-c and my phone yeah. is usb-c so i get the nice big like 75 watt you know absolutely block and they're still compact yeah. but i can charge both devices pretty quick and, and you know what worst case scenario if you have one that doesn't do that and, and your phone is only charging 27 watts but you're trying to charge two or three things off one brick so what you're busy doing something it'll still charge and you'll be done before yeah. you know it yeah. i have i have a second one that's i think 65 watts and has two but it will only charge a maximum of 30 or 32 watts per side uh it will not do 65 watts out of out of one so i can't charge a laptop with it for instance i bought it deliberately knowing that it would only be for phones and small gadgets and stuff so I have the one that has two things plugged into it, and I have the one that's dedicated just for my Pixel phone. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a desktop um, docking station that's Anchor that's a hundred yeah. and seventy five watts. It provides a hundred watts to like a laptop connection, and then you can do like forty five watt USB C to a phone. And oh, it's yeah. it's it's pretty nice i don't know but again all the details of you know voltage versus wattage and how it does it under know, normal but, circumstances you don't have to know the only difference is, is matter, that what yeah. people aren't understanding is that is saying oh well google shouldn't have done it this way they got to get their stuff together they're requesting voltage instead there's a reason they're requesting voltage and this is again one of the reasons that i'm griping with them about and we're still going all the way back around here to the thermostat is that's exactly how you request the stupid thermostat so they know how to do it. Put the same tech that you put in the stupid battery. Good point. For the Pixel 9 into the thermostat. Yeah. You're requesting voltage, not wattage. When you do yeah. it, you get exactly what you're asking for. Because then the charger says, well, if this is the maximum your phone can do, and this is the voltage it wants it at, that way it can control the speed of it exactly, monitor its temperature, make sure it's not overheating and it, nothing's going wrong. And then the, the, the charger itself, has to because ohm's law dictates it can only do it at 2.25 amps for a maximum of 45 watts yeah go to school kids <laughs> <laughs> ohm's yeah. law that's a that's a that's a good point though about the thermostat and that Google target because it's basically smart the same thing this way because they knew that when they did even though their 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 uh charger isn't a gan charger uh their next one probably will be and yeah. they're not stupid they know people will go out and buy third-party chargers and they know there are third-party chargers out there they're just not telling exactly which ones they are because they don't have agreements for others to sell them on their store yeah. so they're smartly not saying that no. um they're basically pulling an apple uh, on you right now so uh, power to them they're trying to compete with apple again i'll say this they're not competing with samsung they're basically stepping on Samsung's back so they can get higher up the ladder. <laughs> and Samsung is allowing it because they get to say, well, we get to take some of your cool tech and put it in our stuff too. Yeah. Uh, they they make great bedfellows and it's working. Now, Samsung's not losing anybody to Apple in big numbers. They're gaining some, but Google Pixel uh, is gaining a lot of former iPhone users. A nice. lot. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> I haven't I haven't paid attention to sales numbers like I usually do. Is it uh, the Pixel Nine been selling? Is it's well I, as I don't hope? I don't know sales numbers. I can only go oh, okay. by the unbelievably phenomenal great response. For instance, I belong in a face group. A face group. There's the blooper we can put on a short this face week. group. Every I belong in a Facebook group <laughs> uh, uh, about you know pixel pixel phones specifically. They change it every year to whatever the current you know series is. So it's Pixel Nine series phones now. Uh, and everyone was of course going. Oh, I got my Pixel Nine or my Nine XL Pro XL or my Nine whatever. Right? Everybody's all excited about it, and it's like, oh, well, this is great. They're showing the colors and the pictures and asking questions. And one or two people saying, oh, this doesn't work, and I don't know why you people like this phone. I'm gonna take mine <laughs> back. And they would say, why? Oh, the stupid thing. Look, there's already a mark on the back of it, and as so well, that's the that that's the little hole they put in for the microphone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it happens every year. Anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Now I went too far with that one. <laughs> <laughs> but bottom bottom line is 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 uh, oh no I know now. Um, today people started getting their pixel holes, and they think it's a day early, uh-huh. but that always happens. If it's tomorrow, then you you ordered it, you pre ordered it, you the first pre order start getting it the day before. So yeah. there's dozens of them on that site alone or on that in that group alone all saying, oh, I got my Pixel Fold, my Pixel Fold, blah, blah, blah. And I'm excited. I thought, oh, my God, when the first Pixel Fold came out last year, there were like two guys out of 10,000 that said they were even willing to buy it. And no one ever posted <laughs> one on the group. There were more than 10 today on day one in that yeah. group. So uh, it's it's super popular also not every reviewer got a pixel fold last year if they didn't get one sent to them they never bought one almost every one of them if they had to buy it themselves they did this year and they all love it the it's insane i mean like it's the i mean i I do love the size i mean i it, the size is fantastic and i like the fact that when they have it closed it's basically the size of a regular 6.8 you know, regular phone. No, it it's not. No, shape. it's not. It's the same size as the Pixel Pixel Nine uh, Pro, not the Nine Pro XL. Uh, so it was, it's well, six point three, whatever 6, it is. It's, it's basically the same size as a regular phone. It's not got that weird shape like Samsung. Samsung's is like super narrow. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's shape. overly narrow. It's the same height, yeah. but it's just too narrow. Yeah. yeah so that's, I that's do like that fact, but it. I'm just not sold on foldable screens yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100 percent yet either. But the fact that this one goes completely flat. Um, and you don't feel the crease as much. I thought it was going to bother me, uh, but I played with it a bit, and I was like, oh, my God, this thing is fantastic. I'm not ready yet, and I probably won't be next yeah. year either, but in a couple of years, I might consider it. Here's the reason yeah. why. Because when you pull that thing out of your pocket and you get the exact same screen as I have on this, and I mean, I need my foldable, fold, foldable, can we put that in the short too? But <laughs> yeah, I want my foldable to be the 6.8 size because yeah. that's what I want, right? Yeah. I don't want it to be weird with extra borders. So do what you have to do to make my foldable look like this. But when I open it up, I still get that big. It'll be even bigger. Yeah. Give me two sizes of fold. They're not going to do that because it's too expensive. They're not going to. So compromise, make the fold. But then again, here's the thing. Maybe I wouldn't mind so much because when you do open it, it is the largest opened foldable on the market. Oh, yeah. It's super so nice. It's, it's got a huge it, screen. It's a full eight-inch tablet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's super nice. I do like that. But, again, it's I, just a foldable part of the screen that I'm just not sold on yet. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm not there yet either. Uh, but like I said, uh, I think I could get sold on it. But I also think that it would be a niche that I would use for one, two, maybe three years max before I end up going back to this. Probably. I like my slab design. I like my screen is off. My screen is off. My screen is on. My screen is on. By the way, I really need to 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 show this because I took that picture myself with my Pixel 9 Pro XL. That That's uh, astrophotography mode with this beautiful phone. Uh, I tried to do uh, 25 years in the making trying to get that shot, and I've used DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and every other pixel. I yeah, could it's amazing. Get it. A cell and phone can, can do one. that. Yeah, it's not <laughs> the only phone that can do it. Don't get me wrong. Some people are better doing this than I am, but this one 
is the first one I ever got that was just just made it that well that easy. That's an edited photo. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I it's the power it. of it's the power of AI and it's the power of yeah. software and it's the power of algorithms and you yeah. Know, in this case, there's no AI. I didn't use no stinking AI because no, uh, when I say I AI, it it's it's still the algorithm that's creating the. I no, I understand, but that's to be clear. To be clear, not, that is not AI at, well, at all. That is not AI. That's literally just a, 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 a an algorithm that cannot be changed. AI is something that will and can can and will change. Uh, that algorithm cannot be changed. It's literally only measuring light and going by time. I understand. This is how long this frame has to go. This is how much light we're allowed to accept. I got now it. Now let's merge it together. So there's no AI whatsoever in it. This is something that photographers have been doing uh, on an automated since before computers were even a thing. So it, it, it's, it's entirely possible. Uh, you don't need AI to do that at all. But my next goal would be to do it unfortunately still with a phone <laughs> but uh, fully in manual mode uh and stack everything manually on the computer to make the same shot that's not going to be easy yeah but it's all software manipulated is the point yeah you know i have a hundred percent definitely uh yeah. and so the, it's everybody's made great strides and you honestly you can't buy a flagship phone now and say it's got a bad camera that's not true uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. As 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 from your perspective, you may think this one's better than that one, or that one's better than this one, but there is no such thing as a bad camera on a flagship phone. Yeah, it's it's kind of like I like chocolate, you like vanilla at this point. I mean, it's really they're both ice. Yeah, yeah exactly. Which well, <laughs> I, you might, yeah, I might like vanilla better than the chocolate, but that doesn't mean your chocolate isn't good, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> So we have two different yeah. phones, and I we could argue till the cows come home on who's going to take a better picture uh, of a schooner sailing down the river. Uh, not that a schooner would go down a river, because how much wind is it going to get? But that was a bad example, but you know what I mean. Um, but in all honesty, it comes down to a number of things. Who framed it better? Who had better light? Uh, and which which phone... Do you actually prefer the picture from as if the phone is doing all the preparation and right. and, and or, uh, all the post work is being done in the phone? If you like right. the way Samsung does it better, then it's going to look yeah, better. Yeah, and see, for me, actually, the Samsung, to me, is a preferred picture only because I prefer the a little oversaturated that yeah. the Samsung does. That's just my preference. I don't like the flat or, you know... Right. Now, I, I like mine to be natural a little bit more looking, natural, yeah. but kind of boost it up. Now, this year, this one does give more. They put more into it than they did in any of the previous pixels. But Samsung still has an overboosted look. And I personally, as a photographer, hate it. But, but that said, Samsung has toned it down from about the S22 up. They have. Onward. Yeah, They've yeah. toned it down so it looks a lot better. And I'd say probably seven out of ten times. If you take a picture side by side, the exact same thing at the same time with both this and the S23 or S24 Ultra, you're going to have to pixel peep to see which one's which. Yeah, or you have sure. to be a huge fanboy of Pixel or Samsung to figure out which phone took which picture. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're just an average user, you're not going to know which one's which. Yeah. And see, I'm so. just not the one. I'd, I'd rather be able to just like be out take pictures and not have to worry about editing and post-production and all that where I can just you yeah. know, say, Oh, this, well, yeah. this picture is awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and share it or whatever the case may be, or maybe add a little bit, but nothing that, you know, you, you get more into the post-production side of things. Than Very I true. So, which I, is I, why I the flat that. and the natural works better for you than what it does for me. But, so. but, but at the same time, this phone doesn't do flat and natural as much. It uses natural colors, but yeah. it's definitely not flat. When I take a picture with this phone, it definitely comes out far more uh, uh, interesting than than, than, yeah. than the previous pixels. I didn't take very many pixel pixels. I didn't take very many pictures with my uh, eight pro, uh, and you would know that, right? Because you <laughs> you see, like I post pictures all the time, and, and you you would see them. Yeah. I did not the seven pro. Yeah. I did lots. The six pro. I did way more. Because uh, the six was oh this this one's great uh, the seven well this one's better the eight did technically take better pictures technically but it lost its character I saw more character in iPhone shots and Samsung shots and yeah. and and Xiaomi shots and I was like why does my phone 
look so bland. I mean, they take great pictures and I can't edit them, but I yeah. don't feel it. And I, I stopped caring. When I got this phone, I haven't been able to stop taking pictures. I take pictures of things I would never take pictures of normally. Yeah. Because there was I, a time I where I, I forget yeah. which phone it was, but I mean, I was taking pictures of the clouds and the sky and the trees and all kinds of stuff because it's like, oh, this picture looks so amazing. And like you said, it kind of six pro over time. It, four. No, uh, it was a four. The four. The four XL. You did that with the yeah, four. Well, yeah, the, it, that was so yeah, that that that, one, that yeah. one that that one was a step up in the camera that shocked a lot of people. It was a phenomenal phone. It it literally yeah. was pound for pound the best Pixel phone they had. It was way underpowered though. It was yeah. way underpowered. But yeah. other than that, software wise, if you just include what was available on the market at the time, it was by software the best Pixel phone ever made. If you just thought of it that way, if they took yeah. that phone and put that into here with the modern chip and, and, and the updated software that originally started in the four, that phone would give this run for its money easy. Yeah, probably. So, but yeah. this is basically, honestly, since you haven't used one, so you don't know, this is basically everything the four could do and then some. That's yeah. why it's so funny. Oh, I've, I've read. I mean, I, I I still stay on top of it. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> at this point, I just, there's really not any, like, groundbreaking reason for me to change, considering I'm so embedded now with all of the watches and the trackers. Well, and yeah. Everything and, that's so seamless. You know? and and it's a great it, phone. So Yeah, and your S25 coming out in several yeah. months or whatever it is, February or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's that's uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a two year jump for you for the first time in years. Yeah, yeah, uh, this, so yeah it's, it's gonna be even, <laughs> it's gonna be a huge leap for you. And, and that S twenty five is gonna add stuff that the Pixel doesn't have. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it'll be, it'll be, I'm, 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 I'm anxious it's to get it. It's the first one every year. Just to be clear for anybody watching, Samsung is the first one regularly available, always in North America, anyways. That that puts their phone out in the year and they always do it with the very most modern chip they may not yeah. be the first phone available with it but the first one that's going to sell 100 million phones with it right yeah right, so <laughs> yeah all right well i think that kind of wraps it up for this episode but uh yeah so listen stay tuned tune in to check channel i have a cool little uh, unboxing and episode on that make sure you check out lionel's photography uh youtube channel uh, Lionel McClintock edits. Um, and maybe by 2026, he'll have his second video up. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, a couple we'll, of days. A couple of days. Yeah. And yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe here yes. on this one. And yes. I will say the same thing on my other channel. I will basically please come back and watch <laughs> this and also watch Robert's stuff. Uh, lots of people do do a lot of stuff where they they appear on either, each other. So look for that to happen on our individual channels in the future, where uh, I may show up on his talking about a product that we both have um, yeah, for different 100%. perspectives and vice versa. So, anyways, enjoy, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and and uh, for the uh, well, for the final time today, I'm Lionel McClintock. <laughs> And, and this is my Pixel 9 Pro XL that I want Google to start <laughs> realizing that I am their biggest fanboy ever. Um, he is. He is. <laughs> and uh, Robert there. Yep. Robert from Nashville. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Ciao.